Hi, welcome back to another episode of the Indigo Room. Today is day 14 of our APT series, Manifesting Your Dreams and Desires by Assuming It Real, Acting As If It's Already Done, Praise, and Thanksgiving. So I want you to give yourselves all a round of applause because you did it. You did it. You did it. You did it. You stuck with it for 14 days. You committed to 30 and you're right here on day 14. I'm your host, Sydney Chase, and this is where we discuss all things spiritual. By that, I mean that we are non-physical spiritual beings having physical human experiences. Life is supposed to be good. It's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be delicious. Sometimes it gets wicky wacky, but we got tools for that. So welcome back. Welcome back. I want to say hello to you all. Today and tomorrow will not be a live episode. It will be recorded. So I hope that you continue along with what you're committed to yourself to do, even if I'm not here with you live. (laughs) So if you are new to the channel, stay to the end because I want you to jump on in here and have some fun with us. If you didn't get the opportunity to do that yet, make sure you pick up your Create My Day journal. All right, let's see if we can show it. I don't know. I'm gonna gonna just put it in front of me. Maybe it won't disappear. There we go. There we go. Create My Day. Create My Day journal, okay? It's magical. <laughs> Make sure you pick up one yourself. It has some great um, tools in here, suggestions. You have one side of the things that you plan to do for the day. On the other side is what you want spirit, God to handle. Okay. Things you're not going to really work on right now. Maybe it's manifesting $500,000. You know, you're going to put that on the God side. God's going to handle that, right? Maybe it is even washing dishes. Put it on that side. God's going to handle that. And then you have a section for your affirmations. What affirmation are you focused on for the day? And this is our topic. This is affirmations part two. And on the other side, you have a place to write your notes. You have a place to write your wins. Wins. Your wins. What do I mean by that? What did you, you know, what happened to you today that was great? Was something that manifested for you out of the blue? You were thinking about it and all of a sudden it showed up. You're going to write down what you're thankful for, some of the things that you're thankful for. Me, my first thing is I'm thankful that I'm awake. God, thank you. (laughs) Thankful to be alive. Thank you. Right? And then your I am statements. What is it that you are calling yourself, right? So we want you to start calling yourself some really good things, right? I am happy. Okay, maybe you're not happy right now. I am getting happy. I am getting happier. I am moving towards happiness, right? Sometimes we can't make that huge leap. And so we like to take incremental steps as we move forward. And that's one of the things, again, I want to reiterate about your affirmations. And last night we were talking about affirmations. And I want to just add in some more context again to help you along with standing in the um, assumption and acting as if it's already done. One of the things that I understand and I finally, you know, got in in my noggin because I have a very hard head, had, had, I had a very hard head. I don't have a hard head anymore. But um, thought forms are also manifestations, right? And oftentimes we're only looking for the thing, right? The, The actual physical, tangible thing. But thought forms are a manifestation also. Because if you never thought as expansively as maybe you're doing now about your health, 
about your weight, about your neighbor, about yourself, about your job, about a job, about your abundance, um, about your pets. Um, you know, there's just so many things, right, that we often uh, hold like this, very small, right? Keep keep it everything very, very tight like this. And we dare not, dare not think of ourselves as magnificent. Think of ourselves as um, opulent or think of ourselves as healthy, right? We're often, oh, I don't feel good today or I'm sick or, you know, I've got bursitis, like my like my mother used to say. I don't even know what bursitis is. She was always talking about it. Or, you know, you have all these aches and pains. Or, you know, you may be looking at your living space and you, you feel like you're never going to make it. You're never going to be somebody. You're never going to be successful. So many wicky-wacky thoughts, right, that come those are thought forms. Thought forms become our reality. They become our experience. Those are negative. I hate that word. Those are negative affirmations because we are affirming the negative. We're saying yes to the things that we don't want by continuing to think these thought forms and to speak the words that we're thinking. And our thoughts and our words that we speak and our feelings all together manifests our desires. Our thoughts, I mean, our words that we speak vibrate right? Our thoughts are a sort of a vibration. So are our feelings. So when we put all those things together, man, right? That's why it's so um, important sometimes to be able to say your affirmations out loud. They are vibrational. They also have creative power. They're not as creative as your feelings, right? Because your feeling really is what's drawing your experiences to you, whether they're good or whether they're not so good, whether they're good or whether they're wicky-wacky. We're drawing those experiences to us through our thought forms and our feelings. So your thoughts sometimes can feel like it's all one thought, right? Like, like you get on one train and that train is taking you on the wicky wacky train to just nowhere, right? And you think, just think, or you look in your wallet, you see maybe you only got $5. You go, oh my God, what am I going to do with that? You know, this, 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 that's a thought. What am I going to do with that? This always happens. That's a thought. I never have enough money. That's a thought. I wish I had enough money. That's a thought. Where am I going to get this money from? That's a thought. And each one of those thoughts, even though they seem to all be connected, right? Which they kind of are because you had this one thought initially when you opened your wallet that led to another thought, that led to another thought, that led to... Now we have five thoughts. We have manifested five thoughts about no money in lack. And then you think, you know... You remember, you remember when George used to live here? I don't know who George is. I'm just making up a name. Remember when George used to live here? He was always late on his rent. Okay, that's, remember when George used to live here? That's another thought. He was always late on his rent, right? Now we went from, I have $5 into my in my wallet to George, okay? He used to drive me crazy because he never paid his bills on time. Okay, that's another three or four thoughts, right? And, and... And he, you know, he was not good. He was not nice to his girlfriend either. Okay, that's another thought. Where'd that come from? 
Okay, we're just talking about five dollars. Do you see how how we're going down a rabbit hole right now? We're taking ourselves down a rabbit hole. Oh my god, but her girl, his girlfriend, she's she was she was a piece of work. That check. There's, there's another thought one, right? So we we're just we're just going from five dollars. Now we are on we are on George's girlfriend. Has nothing to do with the five dollars that's in our wallet right now. We could have, we could have in that moment caught ourselves before we even got to George's girlfriend. We could have caught ourselves before we even got to George, and we could have stopped and replaced those thoughts with better thought forms. We could have manifested new thought forms, right? And those new thought forms could have been, you looked at your wallet. This is this is what we're doing. This is what the work that you're, you're doing is doing, helping you with. You looked at your wallet and you go, wow, I, I have $5. Now, initially you may have felt a little like angst, right? Because you're used to looking in your wallet and never having enough money. You could stop right there and say, thank you, God, for the $5. Thank you, God, for the $5. Thank you, God, for my manifestation. Thank you, God, for um, waking me up this morning. Thank you for the abundance that I do have. I know that more is coming. And just get on that. I can do it. I can, I can create. I am a creator. I am one with infinite intelligence. Infinite intelligence is guiding me. It, Mother, Father, God, help me to spend this money wisely today. And now we're on a different train. We caught ourselves. We caught ourselves in that moment and we're on a different train. And you could be looking at the $5 going, you know what? I, I, at least I have enough, right? That I can go and do whatever it is that you're thinking about doing. I don't know. Maybe it's going to buy a box of rice. I don't know. I don't know what it is, right? But you could, in that moment, start to manifest different thought forms, better feeling thought forms, better feeling thoughts. And when you are in the habit of creating affirmations, you have something to grab on to. And the more you repeat these affirmations, the easier it becomes to grab onto them when you're on the wiki wacky train to hell and pull yourself off the train, off that train onto another train of better feeling thoughts. Like you could stay on that train. Nobody says you had to, nobody says you had to um, leave that train. That's up to you. I would much rather feel better and allow spirit to be able to do what I've asked it to do, what I want it to do. And these affirmations that you're writing down, these affirmations that you're using and repeating over and over and over and over and over and over, start to create a new groove in your consciousness. And that is like a mantra, right? They become like a mantra. And when you are just in a mantra, like thought pattern, you're giving space for your subconscious to go ahead and, and absorb those thought forms and go to work on your behalf for the things that you do want. See, one of the things that I've realized over the years is that spirit and your subconscious is no respecter of persons, right? Anybody could do this work. You don't have to be religious. You don't have to be um, spirit-filled. 
It is all in what you are feeding your subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind is the one that makes all of the arrangements, okay? Whether they're things that you do want or the things that you don't want. So in your affirmations, understand that your affirmations can be about things that you don't want, which we have been taught, you know, to do most of the time, all of our lives. I don't want to, I don't want this to happen. I don't want, I, you know, oh, and you have all these fearful thoughts over and over. They're like little prayers, little worry prayers. And they also, because it's your dominant feeling that creates, they also, you know, start to manifest. And sometimes we forget the seeds that we planted until they show up for us in our lives. Could be like five years from now that you planted something that you really didn't want and you never, you know, removed that root and it's still in within you. And then later on it shows up. That's why people get like, well, I wasn't thinking about that. I wasn't, wasn't thinking about that. No, but you planted a seed, you know, a long time ago, you forgot about it. That's why I like the fact that things don't always manifest right away. Because if we were thinking really horrific thoughts, especially about someone, or about ourselves. Imagine if that stuff just manifested like that. Like the manifestation works both ways for good and not so good and not good. It is up to us to decide and choose what we want to have manifest for our experience. And hopefully it's something that you want that's good for you and all who are around you. I want you to remember that your affirmations, we want to affirm in a yes, the things that we do want now. And so your mind cannot hold two thoughts at the same time. If we go back to my example, when I was talking about looking at your wallet and having the $5, each one of those were a separate thought. They may have felt like one long thought, but they were all separate thought forms. So in any one of those, those, those moments, whatever one of those milliseconds, we could have caught our thoughts and changed the direction. And that's what I'm talking about when I say weeding out, right? Weeding out, pulling those thoughts out at the root. Trust me, sometimes they off, they come back. You know, if you haven't really pulled the root out or the feeling out. When I say taking them out by the root, it's changing the feeling. And if this is a feeling that you have carried around for the longest time, for the longest time, and you, you know, you got a lot of fear and you got a lot of angst, sometimes it can be a little bit difficult, but you have to trust that you are doing a really good job right now. You are 14 days in. You are creating new thought forms. And a lot of times these are thought forms you may not have thought about before. And you are allowing your subconscious, you're allowing spirit in to do the work. So if we've got, we're, we're on a, think about a speeding train, right? A speeding train is really hard to catch, right? It's hard to jump on. It's out of control. It's, it's hard to it's hard to stop. It's got momentum. It's going. 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 So now, which train is that? Right? Is that is it the wiki wacky train that has momentum or the good feeling train that has momentum? That is entirely up to us. I like the good feeling train feel, you know, I'm on that. I'm on the good feeling train. I'm not on the wiki wacky train. I jumped off that one, right? And you will feel different things about different subjects. Some people are really great manifestors of money because they've always felt good about money. Some people are really great manifestors at relationships because they've always felt good about relationships. So it depends on the subjects as well. But that doesn't mean 
That doesn't mean that you can't be a good manifester and start to feel good about all of these things right now, right away. You just got to cut yourself a little slack. Start writing out your affirmations. Start getting in there and making different thought forms, manifesting different thought forms, different thought feeling thought forms. Does it feel good? No? Okay. Let me let me let me let me change direction. Right, there goes Miss Cleopatra. Sorry about last night. I have to edit that out <laughs> because she was not feeling, she's not feeling so hot right now. So I'm working on manifesting her health. I have done that before with some of my pets. One time we had a cat. She went, he went out, came back, he was all bloody. Just <laughs> I got in my imagination because, and I imagined him well and, you know, his vibrant self. We woke up the next morning and Jules was back on track. Could, couldn't even tell that he had been in a fight. I don't even know. It looked like he had got hit by a car. We didn't know, but he lasted for years after that. Same thing I do with my dog. So now I got to get back in there and do some work on her. This works if you work it, right? So change your um, thought forms and catch catch yourself in the middle of wiki wacky. Catch yourself. Make it a game. I love to do that. Make it fun. Don't stress yourself out. Make it something that could be fun. How many times did you catch yourself today? <laughs> Those when you write down how many times did you catch yourself on the wiki wacky train to hell and how many times did you change your train of thought? Don't think, oh my God, it was, so... I changed, I, I was on the train to hell 15 times. I had to change. That That's a win. Because now you're being conscious. You are being the conscious watcher at the gate of your manifestation of what it is that you are creating, being, doing, and having. You, it's an embryo right now, right? It's an embryo. We wanted to get it to, we wanted to, to, to be birthed and it come out full term. So it's great that you caught yourself 15 times today. It's great that you caught yourself 20 times today. It's great that you caught yourself 50 times today. Because how many times did you catch yourself before you started this? Probably none. We just, we just went around, you know, thinking all kinds of things. Not realizing that all of these thoughts that we're feeling about, the ones that we feel the mostly intensely about, we are creating, um, we're manifesting in our experience. So affirmations, good ones, <laughs> good affirmations are very helpful and they're very useful. So you want to have something that you can rely on that you can replace those wiki wacky thoughts with. And you want to be able to grab one of those and say, okay, you know what? I'm going to go, this is, this is what I'm thinking today. And when you, when you focused on that, focused on those good feeling thoughts, spirit is busy behind the scenes, continuing to go in the direction that you want spirit to go. You're the guider. You are the decider. <laughs> you are the director. You are the captain. You. You guide. Subconscious doesn't say, okay, well, you know, Sydney, I thought you said you didn't want to be fighting with someone today. I thought, I thought, Sydney, I thought you said that you wanted $500,000. Why are you feeling broke? It doesn't do that. It doesn't they ask you questions? I, I, oh, I have $500,000 in the bank. I have $500,000 in the bank. <sighs> Man, I am so broke. You get more of that. You'll get more of that. You won't get 
the other stuff that you, you, you want to be, do, and have. You'll get more of what you're actually feeling and thinking about. And you'll get the one that's the most dominant feeling. The most one that's filled with fear. So there are thought forms that you can create on your own. There was something that I saw on, which I love, and I think I'm just going to share it with you guys. This was on um, Instagram by a young lady who shares information about manifestation and assuming it real. And she has this beautiful affirmation that I just love. And her name is, what's her name? 99LoveZ on Instagram. And she, I, I think she's a young person because it sounds like they're all very young, the whole group of them. And they're working on manifesting. And I just love it. I think it's really cool. I love when young people get it and they just, what? I could do this? I could do this? That's awesome. So she, she has a little a little thing and it says self-concept A-F-F-S. And she says, I can manifest anything I want. I easily attract everything I want. Manifestations, manifesting is so easy for me. I can manifest anything effortlessly. Manifesting is so easy for me. I constantly attract good things into my life. The creation is done. It's already here. I have the best self-concept. My self-concept is literally perfect. I love that. You want to create some delicious affirmations for yourself. It's impossible, number one, to hold two thoughts at the same time. So each one of these thought forms is different. They come in at the speed of light. But if you switch it up, you'll start to move in a totally different direction. And when we're not visualizing and we're not in that sleepy state, affirmations help us keep our thoughts on what we want to be, do, and have. And when you start to waver, you know, move to the left or move to the right, you don't have your, 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 your blinders on, right? You get caught up in everyday life, which is what we do and things happen and we feel away, right? Remind yourself that you can do it. I can do this. I'm, I can do this. So if you can't even get with the whole writing the affirmations that at least I can do this and thank you, God. Thank you and praise and thanksgiving. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, my subconscious. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Because when you're in thankfulness, your mind now, when you're saying thank you, 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 your mind is not on anything else. It's only on thank you. It can't hold two thoughts. Your mind can't hold two thoughts at once. It can't even hold two opposing thoughts at once. Each thought is separate. It may feel like it's one thought, but it's two. So I want to encourage you to... Stay in the wish fulfilled. Act as if it's already done. Praise and thanksgiving. And remember who you are. Remember that you are source energy right here in a physical body. Remember that you can be, do, and have anything, literally anything that you desire. And remember it's not being extraordinary that makes you unique. It is your uniqueness that makes you extraordinary. If you need help with your imagination, your intuition, your I am statements, and your affirmations, you can email me and get involved in our Triple Eyes coaching at the Indigo Room 2 at gmail.com and if you're new to the channel and you haven't done any of this, you can start today by clicking on the video right here. That was our kickoff, our first video for the year. And you can check out last night's video right here. And you can 
subscribe to the channel right here. And if you had an aha moment, you've been encouraged, you find anything in this video helpful, leave a comment down below. If you had an aha moment these past 14 days, leave your comment below. Remember to like, comment, subscribe to the channel for our updates or when we go live. Continue to stay in the wish fulfilled. Act as if it's already done. Praise and thanksgiving. We're halfway through. Bravo. I love you. Have a great night. I will see you in the next video.